I'm Megan Wolf. And I'm Jeremy Dawes. Our main headlines tonight. These aren't my cards. Please tell me these aren't my cards. No, they're the right ones, apparently. Oh, but this gives me nothing, Jenny. They must see that. I know. I think they think he won't have anything to say. Oh, for God's sake, come on. It's a huge day. <laughs> He's not an... Absolute bogey. I don't care, Rob. I'm not doing it. I agreed to do one BC interview a day. I made that completely clear when we started. Check my contract. Hi, I'm Megan. Oh, piss off. You're on thin bloody ice, Rob. Whole wheat, man. Whole wheat. We're coming back yeah. from the break. Quiet in the studio. Oh, thank you so much. For... Ten seconds, everybody. Getting in five, four, three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners advance. But first, our very own culture reporter, Megan Wolf, is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today, I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare to the Shotbot films. I'm very excited to be joined today by none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is among the greatest joys of my life. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> Bless you. So you've just finished filming your latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Well, as I said to Peter at The Wrap, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Do you know him? He's a wonderful chap, he really is. I've worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. And you know what, Megan? I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, <laughs> yes, you're right. It was a complete departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. Mm. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, honestly, who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. <laughs> it's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards. Although, those three little statues do take pride of place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So. If you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, that is a beautiful question, Megan, and not easy to answer. Like you, I'm afraid. Cut me and I will bleed. And often that's how it feels, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Bleeding, giving, suffering for one's audience. I suppose in the end, I do it for the difference it makes. I do it for the people that I inspire, the little people. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, <laughs> we're in for some real change, it looks like, in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well, <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result, indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, 
that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Uh, yes, well... Um, Sorry, I said fuck. No. That, I'm really... I'm <laughs> well, Sorry. Well, Lawrence, I believe you brought in a clip from The Medicated, which opens next week around the country. Lawrence, do tell us what's going on here. I'd be delighted. <laughs> this is a really pivotal scene where my character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Wow. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. And we're out. Rob, get the car, we're out of here. Mr. Blundercatch, Mr. No! Blunder I'm shutting this down. What kind of operation? I don't understand it. Mr. Blundercatch, I understand you're upset, upset, but we can- Upset! I don't understand it. Rob, I'll be at the door seat. Send up a bottle of scotch and a whole ham. It's in my contract. It's not your fault. You think I don't know that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, ju I just had to, I had to. Go on then, say it. Must what? I told you, Sarah. That's Dr. Lance T. Your hair look nice. See, this is why you're single. <laughs> I did it for you, baby. All for you. Dr. Hemlock. We're gonna change the world, do you remember? If only I listened to you. Dr. Hemlock. You told me, but I didn't listen. Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. No, it's all too late. Look at this! Cut it! The virus. The sterility. This formula. This formula. This, this is the key. We could stop it all. Yes, yes, we could stop it all! We have to ask ourselves. We should. Yeah.